Optima Enterprise Services clients with a Bloomberg Professional Terminal also get access to additional tools and features. Now, if Optima is installed on the same computer as the Bloomberg Terminal, then the uh, two programs will automatically connect via API. So any uh, data or information from Bloomberg will automatically be charted in Optima. So over the next few minutes, I'll be showing you some of those features uh, that you have access to. First off, I'll show you how you can connect to Bloomberg symbol lists in Optima. So on the screen is the PRTU screen from Bloomberg. So that's the portfolio where you can um, enter positions and you'll notice there's an ID here. So we can link that to Optima. So I've got this example here. So I'll just bring that PRTU screen back and you can see that the two are linked. So and as the markets are open, it's updating in real time. So any changes you make on the PRTU screen in Bloomberg will automatically get reflected in Optima when the list is refreshed. Now we also have symbol lists where you can load components of any index from Bloomberg. So under File, Open Symbol List, we can click on New, Bloomberg index and just type the ticker symbol of the index that you want. So for example, NDX space index for the uh, NASDAQ 100. And here it is there. Click on that. It's now going to Bloomberg to get all the symbols. We can add that to our system, open list as a watch list. And again, this is linked to Bloomberg. So any changes in this list will automatically get reflected in Bloomberg, uh, sorry, in Optima. So when um, you can scan on this list um, for the component uh, members, or you can build watch lists and create um, page layouts with all your analysis on. Now we can also add Bloomberg data fields. So for example, I can add a, what we call a chart header I've got one here called Bloomberg Data, and that includes things like market cap, uh, PE ratio, and um, GIX uh, levels as well. Now, all this is customizable, so you can you can put any information in these chart headers. You can put your logo, you can put your contact details, which make it um, pretty useful when printing reports. Other tool examples, we can add earnings to the chart. So We'll select that from the toolbox and it'll place the uh, the markers on the chart. So obviously red is when they fail to meet expected earnings and green when they beat expected earnings. Now you can add any data field from Bloomberg into Optima. So under data, we've got external data fields. So you can search um, the Bloomberg um, data field for for anything. So um, if you know the uh, the Bloomberg um, code that's listed there on the right hand side, or you can just start typing uh, to search. So for example, I've already added short interest from uh, Bloomberg and also short interest ratio. So that's in our toolbox. So I can just right click and go to short interest and it will then display that below the chart. And as we scroll down the watch list, that will automatically update as we go down. So ALXN will switch to uh, Applied Materials. So that's now got the new earnings tools and also the uh, short interest levels. This is an example of a relative rotation graph. So you may be familiar with RRGs in Bloomberg, but we have a lot more functionality. So for example, we can move this back in time to animate so you can see the rotation around the benchmark. So these are the uh, um, sector level one indices for the S&P 500 in the US on a weekly basis. But what we can do, we can right click on any of these. So this is the industrials this, uh, moved into the, the leading quadrant. We can right click and then display industries. And it's now going to go to Bloomberg and get the next level down. So level two for the um, 
uh, industrial sector and display on an RRG. And we can do this with watch lists or any type of uh, chart as well. I'll just zoom out so it all fits on the screen. So you can see, um, so these are now the, uh, the industrial sectors. And this one over here, when we mouse over air, freight and logistics, again, we can drill down, we can right click and I might go straight to the index members so we can see exactly um, who's leading um, or who's uh, the components of that s industry sector. And you can see FedEx there is leading the way. And on a relative strength basis, UPS has started uh, or is now in the in the lagging quadrant for the uh, for the benchmark, which is the level three um, air freight index. One of the other features we have of RRGs is the ability to add um, any of the RRG measurements in a symbol list, or we can scan or do testing or anything like that. So what I've got here is a list built from a symbol list of the FTSE 350 index. So these are all the components, but I've grouped them into the RRG quadrants. So if I minimize all four, you will see that there's 67 in improving, 169 leading, uh, 60 weakening and so on. But we can expand these um, in the in the watch list and then, so these are the leading ones. So I'm going to open just that group as an RRG and then that's gonna build that on the right hand side for further analysis so you can see exactly um, who is where on the RRG chart. So it can get a bit messy if there are lots of uh, equities or, or uh, symbols in there, but we can uh, shorten the, uh, the tail length. Or in fact, what we can do, we can also filter out um, for standard deviations from the center. So I can plot filter standard deviations. Let's make it two. So the ones on the screen there are uh, more than two standard deviations away from the benchmark. So AO, uh, this one here stands out because it's heading northeast, um, but we can click on that to get a thumbnail and then click on the thumbnail to get a, uh, a bigger picture. Um, and you can see that's why it's uh, so far in the leading quadrant. Um, so if you're not familiar with RRGs, then um, I uh, recommend that you uh, search out site for um, Matthew Vidal's video and he will explain a bit more about the uh, the relative strength visualizations uh, that we can do. Now that's just a brief overview of some of the functionality of Optima so if you have any questions or would like to arrange a demo please contact us at support at optima.com. Thanks very much.